It's the people at Live at Five. There they are right so over he finally there. Settled See, they're, ups they're, they're upset the with me because last night I went over, over there and, and there. Uh, did the weather oh, with uh, Happy Al Rooker. There. Oh, 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 so they've seized control of our broadcast, have they? My goodness. Uh, also, we had a we we went over across the hall to get into their studio, and they had a, a page out there who had been instructed not to let us in. And I walked up to the door, and he said, "I'm sorry, you can't come in here. The producers have told me that I can't let you in." And, and I thought, "Well, this is a pretty gutsy thing for a page who makes like 40 bucks uh, a week <laughs> to be saying to me, uh, the avant-garde of this huge, high-powered media juggernaut." <laughs> That I, that I can't get in there, and I think I may have grabbed, uh, I don't think I slapped him, but I think I grabbed him by the tie. Uh, but in thinking it over, I realized I probably was a little harsh on the guy. His name is uh, Ben Hoffman. Is Ben over there, or has he been dismissed as per my instructions? <laughs> yeah, can you bring Ben in? But I just thought it was interesting that he would... Ben, how are you? Nice to see you. Come on, just come on over here, Ben. Now, now, had you, uh, the producers told you to not let me in specifically or not let anybody in? Not let you in specifically. <laughs> and, and were you prepared to, like, hit me or something? You got a gun or what? Well, I won't use any deadly physical force on you, but... Um... Oh, how very thoughtful. <laughs> uh, but now, did I grab your tie? Did I hurt your feelings? Did I embarrass you? You embarrassed me a little bit, but I know that this is an entertainment show, so I figured I might as well let you slide and... Oh, that's very nice. Now, did, did you get a reprimand from the producers over there, those weenies? No. no. But, you know, I think in all honesty, no. in all seriousness, that's a very uh, awkward position for them to have put you in, don't sure, you? Sure, it was a last-minute thing, but I had to act upon um, what they told me, so yeah. I did. But if you had any courage, you'd quit. No, no I would quit. <laughs> well, look, look, I just, I just wanted to apologize if I, if I hurt your feelings or caused you any problems, and we have here cake oh. and ice cream for you, Ben. <laughs> we have a... We don't have a napkin for... Okay, there you are, Ben. I hope, I hope there are no hard feelings. No Thank you very much. Okay, nice no to see you. Enjoy that. I will. Okay. The hell's going on here? We've really, we've really lost control. But now, those people, they think it's all in good fun. I think it's all in good fun. Those people at Live at Five hate my guts. <laughs> They're going to pay for this. Uh, let's do what? Viewer mail. Oh, boy, what a great show tonight. Viewer mail. Let's uh, get right to it. Actual letters from uh, all over the world. And uh, we, we uh, reply to them on Friday nights. Here it is. Letter number one. Dear Dave, we're going to be in New York next month and would like for you to recommend a restaurant. Someplace where we can say Dave sent us and enjoy a really good table. <laughs> Thanks. This comes from uh, Joy, Cindy, and uh, Revy from Dallas, Texas. Uh, I don't mind doing this. I think this is kind of a, a nice little thing that I can do for the viewers. Uh, I don't want to mention the place on the air, however, because I think obviously it, it might be stampeded and overrun with uh, uh, curiosity seekers. So I'll send you the name and the address by mail. And, and when you get a chance to go there, you know, try the quarter pounder. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Letterman, you can't come in, he says to me about going into their little rinky-dink cartoon 